Hey guys, welcome back to Marketing Pandas Global. In this video of MS Word course, I'm going to teach you how to add a restriction in your MS Word document so that people don't can edit or change the formatting of that particular document, right? Let's say you are working in a team and you want to share your document or you want to share your Word file with your teammates and you don't want them to edit that particular document, right? You don't want to change the data or the content which you have added into your word document right but you want your teammates to watch the data to read the content so that they can also understand what you have researched about or what you have prepared but you don't want them to change the content or the data which you have added into your document intentionally intentionally or by mistake so i'm gonna teach you proper thing where you have to add a password Basically, you will be able to add a password protection into your document so that people don't can change the designing or the content, right? So let's get into our MS Word and learn about this. So guys, as you can see, right now I'm in my MS Word document. This is the proper document which I've created, right? Basically, I do have, I do have written the dummy content over here, right? I have uh, added headline, I have had added content, I have added subheadlines. So everything is there. Now I want to share this content, share this document with my teammates, but I want to add a restriction in this particular document so that they don't able to change the document, they don't able to uh, change the content of this document and even the designing as well. Right? For that I have to go to review tab. So here it is the review tab. First you have to come in review tab. And in review tab, you'll be able to see this protect kind of thing, protect options basically, right? So we do have two options available here, block authors, then we have restrict editing. So we are going to use this one and I'm going to tell you about this option as well, but let's start with restrict editing. So once you click on this, this kind of window will appear in front of you. So here we do have three steps. The first one is formatting restriction. Basically, if you want your uh, document to be protected from formatting, editing or any uh, any uh, cosmetic changes like that, then you have to select this option, right? And if you click on the settings option, you'll be able to see these kind of things. Basically, these uh, you can uncheck the box which you don't want to restrict, right? So, tons of options are here. All comes under the formatting, basically cosmetic changes, designing changes, right? So if you want, let's say you want your audience or you want your teammates to change the headlines only or you just allow, you just want to allow your uh, teammates to change the headlines only. So you can uncheck that particular box, right? But I'm not doing this right now. I'm just overall restricting the viewers to do any kind of formatting changes, right? Then we have editing restrictions. Now, if you select this, basically, if you check this box, then your teammates or with whom the uh, with whom you are sharing with this document, they'll be not able to change the content at all. If you check this box, and then you have this four options. The first one is track changes. Basically, if you select this option, then they'll be able to change the content, but you'll be able to track. I've already. Uh, shown you this option basically and this is the same option which added here right so you'll be able to track that who have changes or who have changed the content or the he heading or the designing or the formatting everything you'll be able to uh, track right then we have comments option comments option is basically people will be able to comment only right they'll not able to edit they will not able to do any changes but they'll be able to comment that this content is not correct or I want to change this content or anything like that, right? Now, this the third option is filling in forms, filing in forms. So this is not so relevant. Filing in forms, basically, you can create a form where your audience or the teammates can file fill a form where they can mention the changes or where they can mention the comments, right? So this is not so relevant. We, we are not going to talk about this. Then we have the fourth option, no changes and read only. So if you select this option, your audience will not be able to do any changes in this particular content. They'll be able to only read the content, right? They'll be able, able to only read the content and the data. Then 
you can add the exception as well this is totally optional if you want you can add exceptions what is the exception means basically let's say uh, you just want your audience to change or to allow your you just allow want to allow your audience to change this first two paragraphs only right so you just have to select the paragraph and you are just checking this box so that this particular content is now added into the exception basically this is not under the restriction people will be able to change this particular doc, uh, content right these two uh, paragraphs only and you have added basically you have allowed everyone to change this particular uh, content right if you want to add any particular person or any particular uh, position in your document so that they only can change this data in your document so you have to add those particular persons basically let's say you have a manager and you want to allow your manager to change these two paragraphs only right so for that you have to click here more users and you have to add their email address here right so basically you have to follow this format you have to add the domain name you have to add the name then you have to add their email address basically right so there uh, three data you have to add now let me just cancel it now once you are done with your second step we have the third step which is start enforcement and you have to click on this yes start enforcing protection so once you click here you will be able to uh, see this particular type of window where you have to add the password if you don't want to add the password you can just directly click on this and your protection will be applied but if you are not adding the password anybody can turn this setting off turn this rest restriction off right and without using any password because you haven't added your password so it is important to add password i'm adding the password here re-entering the password now just hit the ok button and my restriction has been applied here right now if i click here and if i try to write something as you can see i'm trying to write but nothing is happening and here you'll be able to see you can't make the changes because the selection is logged right now there's one more option here in this right side window restriction window you'll be able to see highlight the region I can edit so if I uncheck this box you'll be not able to see the region where you can edit right you just have to check this box if you want your audience to see that where they can make changes right so so this is how it is now you can download this document or you can directly share this document with your uh, teammates or with whom you want to share right so that's how you can add restriction into your document now if I show you here this is the editable content now if i click here and try to write something i'll be able to write here but i'll be not able to write here right so this is how your restriction or the document protection works now if you want to turn this option off you have to click here right and your restriction will be turned off right so if i click here and i have to add the password and once I add the password, hit the OK button and the document is open now. Now I can edit wherever I want, right? So that's how I can do changes or I can apply password protection or restriction in my document. I hope you learned from this video. If you do so, please hit that subscribe and like button. Also, don't forget to share this document, not document, sorry for that. Uh, share this video with your needy friends who want to learn this course with a more efficient and effective way with that said i'll be meeting you in the next video till then bye bye